There is no definitive proof that Leonardo da Vinci traveled to Egypt. However, there are some accounts that suggest he may have visited the country during his lifetime. One of the most famous accounts of da Vinci's supposed travels to Egypt comes from the writings of his biographer, Giorgio Vasari. According to Vasari, da Vinci traveled to Egypt with the Medici family, who were his patrons. The Medici family had extensive trading connections with Egypt, and it is possible that they took da Vinci with them on one of their voyages. Another source that supports the theory of da Vinci's trip to Egypt is his sketches of pyramids and sphinx in his notebooks. These drawings show a level of detail and accuracy that would be difficult to achieve without first-hand observation. There are also records that suggest da Vinci may have been interested in Egyptology. For example, he reportedly owned a copy of the Egyptian Book of the Dead, an ancient text that served as a guide for the afterlife in Egyptian mythology. Despite these accounts, there is no concrete evidence that da Vinci actually traveled to Egypt. However, his fascination with the country and its culture is evident in his work, and it is possible that he drew inspiration from his imagined version of Egypt to create some of his famous artworks, such as, The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne and Saint John the Baptist. It is believed that he may have been exposed to the culture and architecture of ancient Egypt during this time. This could have influenced his artistic style and techniques. Some historians have also speculated that da Vinci may have been involved in the study of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. This would have been a subject of great interest to scholars at the time, as the deciphering of hieroglyphs had only recently begun. It is also worth noting that da Vinci was a man of many interests and talents, and it is possible that his trip to Egypt may have inspired him in ways that are not immediately obvious or documented. For example, he may have been inspired by the engineering feats of the ancient Egyptians, or by their complex mythology and religious beliefs. There is no definitive answer to where Leonardo da Vinci was during the three-year period when he disappeared from historical records. However, there are several theories and speculations. Some historians believe that da Vinci may have traveled to the Middle East, including to Egypt, during this time. It was a common practice for scholars and artists of the time to embark on extended journeys to study and explore different cultures and ideas. Da Vinci was known to have an insatiable curiosity and a desire for knowledge, so it is possible that he embarked on such a journey. Others speculate that da Vinci may have spent this time in Italy, working on some of his most famous projects and artworks, such as The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. There are records of him receiving commissions and working on projects during this time, which contradicts the theory that he was traveling abroad. Ultimately, the true whereabouts of da Vinci during this three-year period remains a mystery, and it may be impossible to know for certain where he was and what he was doing. However, his disappearance and re-emergence have only added to the mystique and intrigue surrounding one of the greatest minds in history. Overall, while there is no definitive proof that da Vinci founded anything during his supposed presence in Egypt, it is clear that the culture and history of this ancient civilization had a profound impact on him, both as an artist and as a thinker. Thanks for watching.